Now that you're all set, you can activate continuous analysis on more repositories. I'm going to show you how you can do this from your DeepSource dashboard. Log into your DeepSource account and click on Activate New Repo on the sidebar. A list of all the repositories synced with your VCS account will appear on the screen. Once you select the repository you want, you'll see the configuration generator, which will help set up the analysis for you. I'm going to add the JavaScript, Rust, and Secrets analyzers for this analysis run. You can read more about the configuration options for each analyzer in our documentation. In the Test File Patterns section, you may choose to add a list of glob patterns to identify as test files. This would help us reduce the number of false positive issues post-analysis. In the Exclude File Patterns section, you may choose to add a list of glob patterns that you want excluded from analysis. This would include generated binaries, minified JavaScript code checked into the repository, additional third-party modules, and so on. DeepSource will generate a .deepsource.toml file that serves as the analysis configuration's source of truth. Based on your repository's branch permissions, you can directly commit the toml file to your default branch from DeepSource, create a pull request that you can merge from your BCS provider, or manually add this file in your repository's root. Once the file has been committed, the analysis will run on the default branch of the repository and analyze all the files. After the analysis run, you'll see all the issues that are currently present in the default branch of the repository. Click on any of these issues to view all the occurrences, where they exist in the code base, and some contextual code to make sense of it. 